Story time with Fergie and friends. Hello, story time, Fergie and friends, mums and dads, aunts and uncles, granny, grandpa, here we go. It's very exciting and this is called Dig by Nikki Gilbody, illustrated by Stephanie Jane. Oh, how exciting this is, Dig. In the depths of the wood lived a little grey mole, smaller than most, and a kind, cheerful soul. The others all teased him because he was short, but Mole kept on smiling, whatever they thought. Early one morning, Mole crawled from his nest, took a deep breath, and he puffed out his chest. I'll show them, said Mole, as he trotted on by. There's more to this Mole than at first meets the eye. As he walked, he heard sobbing from under a tree, where a squirrel sat sniffing <laughs> most unhappily. I can't get my nuts, the squirrel cried with a wail and blew his nose hard on the tip of his tail. It's caught in the tangled up roots of this tree, but I'm far too big and I can't reach it, you see. Oh, said the mole, that's no problem for me. I'm so little I'm sure to get by easily. He struggled and squirmed his way through on all fours, then popped out again with the nuts in his paws. Yay, my nut, cried Squirrel. Oh, thanks, he began. I'd like to repay you one day if I can. You're welcome, said Mole. It's no problem at all. I suppose we're both lucky that I'm just so small. With that on, Mole went till he heard an odd sound, a moaning and sighing from under the ground. A short, narrow tunnel led Mole to the groans of a rabbit wedged firmly by soil, sticks and stones. Don't worry, I'll help you. Just give me a tick. I'll squeeze past and prop up the roof with a stick. <gasps> Mole found a small gap and he slithered through it fast, then built up the walls and saved Rabbit at last. Thank you, said Rabbit, so pleased to be freed. Dear Mole, you are truly a good friend indeed. You're welcome, said Mole, and he shrugged and looked shy. I'm glad I just happened to be passing by. I suppose being little's been useful today, and he smiled and he waved and went off on his way. Before long, he spotted a curious sight, a family of ants in a terrible plight. <gasps> Stuck in a puddle, a leaf as a boat. It lurched as they struggled to keep it afloat. Help, cried the ants. We're going to capsize. Please save us from such an untimely demise. Mole hoisted the leaf and its fine sailor band, placing them carefully back on dry land. <gasps> the ants jumped for joy and yelled, hip hip hooray! Thank goodness for Mole and his kindness today. You're welcome, said Mole. There's no need to feel glum. I guess I'll, uh, that I'll always be bigger than some. With a spring in his step and a smile on his face, he headed for home at a jolly old pace. But someone was watching. Mole tripped down the track. <gasps> someone who wanted the mole as a snack. Yum, yum. Two bright brown eyes glinted and nose sniffed with the air. And Fox stretched and yawned and crept out of his lair. A tiny tasty morsel, Fox giggled with glee. <laughs> As he slipped off to hide by a twisted old tree, <gasps> he slunk to his haunches and settled to wait. Uh, the mole trotted on, unaware of his fate. <gasps> hmm. As mole reached his nest, he sensed danger nearby. A tuft of red hair on a tree caught his eye. He peered round the trunk and glimpsed fox's sly grin. Hmm. Saw a crack in the tree, so he squeezed himself in. In a flash, Fox was there and he sprang at the stump. He bashed and bumped and butted the trunk with a thump. He snuffled and snorted and scrabbled about, but try as he might, he could not get Mole out. If I can't munch you, I'll choose one of the rest and kindly you've just led me right to your nest. <laughs> Desperate to stop him, Mole leapt from the tree. Back off, he cried, you just leave my friends be. Puffed, full of courage, the voice loud and clear. He boomed an alarm for the whole world to hear. For someone so little, you've got a big voice. It's them, or it's you. I'll let you make the choice. Ah, uh -huh. I'll make it quite quick, promised Fox, looking sly. No chance. Come, come on, come and get me, came Mole's swift reply. Fox snarled his way closer, teeth pointed and big. One chance of escaping. Ah, now quickly, Mole, dig. As quick as the wind, Mole d dived into the earth, scooping and digging for all that he was worth. Like a shot, Fox was there, and he pounced on the mound. He followed the mole hole right into the ground. <gasps> but Rabbit had heard and lined friends up to go. They stamped the soft earth, pounding hard to and fro. Ha! Fox paused in the tunnel and looked up in dread as the roof cracked and split and caved in on his head. Poor Foxy. 
That instant the soil moved, seemed almost alive, as hundreds and hundreds of ants had arrived. They poured over Fox and they nipped where it hurt, till he wriggled and writhed his way out of the dirt. Frustrated and itchy, Fox growled and drew back, then gasped with alarm. He was under attack. An army of squirrels lined up overhead. They pelted him down acorns till Fox turned and fled. <gasps> Mole thanked his new friends as Fox sped down the trail and everyone gathered to hear of his tale. It's been an adventure, that much I can say, but I think I've had quite enough fun for just one day. And so little Mole told his story until the forest around him grew peaceful and still. It's okay to be small. In fact, sometimes it's best. And with that, he curled up and dozed off in his nest. Mm. What a lovely book. Well done, Nicky. With Fergie and friends With Fergie and friends